Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Well, we're finally seeing some sunshine right now. Partly sunny skies in Kirksville, 67 degrees. We topped out at 70 degrees here at the station, so not moving very much. Winds are light out of the east-northeast at 5 miles per hour. Humidity levels 79 percent, dew point around 60. Atumwa, you are coming in at a glorious 71 degrees. Mostly sunny skies. Winds are light out of the north-northeast at 5 miles per hour. Humidity levels 68 percent, dew point around 60. Well, we didn't wake up on a sunny note, that's for sure. We did have a lot of heavy rain. Embedded thunderstorms moved through very early this morning. Probably got woken up like I did around 5, 6 6 o'clock in the morning. As we headed through the morning hours and around noontime, we did see just a, some very sporadic showers here and there, but more widespread off to the west. In fact, that is where the heaviest rainfall is going to be, and that's going to continue to stay that way. We are going to get more showers, possibly maybe hearing some rumbles of thunder, but no severe weather is expected over the next couple of days. Future cast will put this in motion at 8 o'clock tonight. Again, notice off to the west. That is where the heaviest they have received, 2 to 3 inches, even a little bit farther south into central Missouri. For us, anywhere from a half to 3 quarters of an inch received so far from the two-day totals in southeast Iowa and in northeast Missouri, anywhere from an inch to two inches, especially into Macon County and our southern portions of our viewing area. But again, uh, moving ahead as we're heading into the overnight, still some sporadic, an additional quarter to an inch expected for tonight, as well as an additional quarter inch as we head into tomorrow. So overnight lows for tonight around 54 degrees, so just a little bit cooler than what we started things out with this morning. Again, rain likely. Southeast winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow afternoon, 65 degrees with a chance of showers, mostly cloudy skies. Winds will remain on the light side over the next couple of days. Tomorrow night, 47 degrees. So we are starting to cool things down as this slow moving system finally pushes off to the east and 47 with cloudy skies. Again, a slight chance of some showers still lingering for tomorrow night. Winds will remain on the light side. Also, I do want to draw your attention once again to the storm spotter, uh, storm spotter training session that's going on tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. in Bloomfield, Bloomfield Fire Station. The address on that is 501 Southwest Street, and it's free and open to the public. So if you've ever wanted to know more about tornadoes, also more about thunderstorms, how they form, what makes them, uh, this is the place to be tomorrow night. It's given by the National Weather Service out of Des Moines. The five-day forecast, well, Friday, 65 degrees, last day of some rain, 50% chance, and then we're heading into a very pleasant weekend, 69 and mostly sunny on Saturday, 75 and sunny on Sunday, and then back to work and school Monday, mostly sunny, 78 degrees. Overnight lows into the mid to upper 40s to even 50 as we wake up on Monday morning. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 and weather forecast delivered right to your inbox. Just click on subscribe. It's free at the top of the home page of heartlandconnection.com. So again, anywhere from probably about two, two and a half inches when we're all said and done uh, with all of the rain over the next couple of days for the rain totals. So that's good news. Uh, at least we didn't get the four plus inches right. where in northwest Missouri and central Missouri did. That's where the bulk of it is and is staying for the time being. The weekend's looking good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very nice. Although sunbursts across there. I like, I like it. Thanks.